Hi everybody, today I am at Great Scott Educational Center in Boardwalk and it's it's the middle of winter, almost at the end of January so uh, they did a lot of construction on trails here so I went to look and I thought today would be a good time to do it because the rest of the week they say lots of rain, maybe ice who knows? Lost dog. June 10. <laughs> Great soft winter. Let's take a look at it. I can get one out. Oh, this is all events I do during the winter here. Okay, well let's head out. It's cold, it's in the 30 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's still sunny. Got my ice cleats on my shoes here and stop me from slipping all over the place. Oh, they got a gas here. Huh. Gas heat building. Looks like we're getting the maple syrup uh, thing ready here. That's what that is there. I just like to see the sign here a minute. It's a really neat sign to read. I'll just stop for a moment, pause here, and then uh, you want to read the sign better, just pause this video and uh, take a look at it. Prayer of the Woods. That's a neat saying there. Okay, let's head out. I uh, remember they were building this trail on the boardwalk last time I was here. I think it was during the summer last year, 2023. But I don't think uh, they finished it. This had signs here, it says they're still building yet, so. I'll just have a look. Frozen vertical pond over there. <laughs> this is a neat place to come to during the summer. All the butterflies and dragonflies and all the swamp creatures you see in here on the boardwalk. Hope I'm not going to be sorry to bring my sunglasses with me here. I thought it would be cloudy but the sun is still popping through but I think I'll be alright. this they got going on here oh it's the power line holy smokes look at that the power line laid a 
whole platform for them to get through here. Wow, to get through the swamp area to do the power line. Look at that. Portable power, power uh, line working into working right over there. A seam up there. Huh. Ooh. You couldn't pay me to do that job. Not a million dollars. No, I mean it. Let's take a look. They got a new trail here. It goes out. It looks over the swamp area. I'll just take a look. There's like a, uh, uh, a duck blind here. And you can view out there. It's pretty neat. This is an observation blind. What is this thing? I can't see past it. <laughs> Why is this blind here? Take a look through the slots to see any wildlife in the pond. Blinds are useful to hide from wildlife, avoid scaring them. Can you find any of these animals? Well, I don't think I can because it's frozen. Kind of funny, you know. You know, I, I just want to say this: this whole uh, Great Swamp Educational Area is, is is leaning towards for kids to come and learn about wildlife. I think that's pretty nice. So, and it's for adults too, you know. I, I think I enjoyment of it. But they uh, <clears throat> they want to educate people about more about nature. And it should. That's a good thing to do. This place is, is for all ages, not just young folks. And that's a bat house over there, if you can see it in the camera. Which I keep saying, yeah, I gotta get some bat houses at my blueberry farm. I really want to do that. I'm gonna either make them or buy them somewhere. Like they're so expensive to buy though. Here is the swamp area. We're on the boardwalk now. <clears throat> There's a couple birds out there. Like raccoons are out there. <laughs> Very neat. The pond over time starts out of the pond, then the marsh, and swamp, then becomes forest. Fills in with settlement. I just noticed something. The whole boardwalk here is a, a, a aluminum or galvanized frame. Wow, they really built this heavy duty. Wow, that's amazing. Most heavy duty constructed boardwalk in the swamp out here yet I've seen. Wow. We're not going to see much out here today, in, uh, the end of January, but almost the end of January. But it's still neat to explore it. See what you can see out here.
<clears throat> there's a little observation platform here. Let's go see it. Here. Oh, what's that? Harps of the swamp. Yeah. All the sounds. Huh. And what they do and what's around here. Okay. There are other trails here, but I'm going to take this one today because I'm kind of limited on the time today. So we'll just stick to this area. What that sign says it's facing that way. I, I'm curious. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at oh, okay. So, why is it facing that way? Huh. I guess they expect people to come walking up through this wet swamp with hip boots and mud and water up to their, their neck come out here. I don't know. There's a sign facing that way. What's up with that? I, who, who's gonna walk up through here in all this swamp area? I don't know. I guess they got a reason for it. I don't know. No trail there, yellow trail. There's that power line again. They cut right across the boardwalk here. Hope I can get to it. 
kind of soggy. She kind of throws you off. There's the board over right there. Door base. She and there they are working over there. <laughs> no way would I never do that for a job. If somebody likes doing it. Okay. JCP and L construction zone. I guess that's what they're talking about when they enter. It's an electric company. Amazing skunk cabbage. Did you read about that? Or it produces a warm plant that actually melts the ice during the winter around it. Huh. Bear like to eat it, supposedly, they say. Yeah, the Great Swamp almost once became a huge uh, airport for jets. Just imagine. That would have really affected this whole area. Oh, my goodness. Ten thousand acre jet port in this location. Wow, my gosh. Boy. Okay, let's go visit the wigwam. There's a wigwam down here. See if anybody's living in there right now. An Indian wigwam. There's a trail somewhere it goes out there. I thought it was right here. I guess not. Where's the trail? There it is. I found it. Over here. <clears throat> okay, I had to change the battery. 
And off we go again. To the big one we go. Let's see what it says here. They have powwows here, they have power demonstrations here. Welcome to the new wigwam. The old one got crushed by a heavy snowstorm. Raise respect as you explore. Took days to build, hard work to build. We want it to last a long time. Oh, they got bark on it now. Alright, let's head in. No. And this is a wigwam. And you can sleep on that beautiful, comfortable bench there. And uh, you can build a fire here and stay warm and smoke yourself out through that hole there. Yeah. All right, and let's see the wigwam. All right, that's called a wigwam. Well, I'm gonna head out to the other trail now. While you're here, you mounds of visit both trails here, both boardwalk trails. It's always nice to see both of them. This boardwalk trail is built for handicapped people. Take a motorized wheelchair through this area. Or whatever. There's a brook here. Brook crossing. Look at that all frozen the brook right now. I've been here during the summer, it's very buggy, very mosquito-y, but neat to see. You come out here, you make a left onto the pipeline here, and the power line. You go a short distance down, you get on the other part of the boardwalk. Not as scenic when you get out here, but you do see some rare birds out in the in the uh, this reeds out here. Lots of bluebirds, stuff like that. Pretty neat to see. Not now, of course. Let's just see. please not disturb our trail cameras. The cameras are for documenting the night life of the Great Swamp and do not take any photos and videos during the day hours when people are on trails. Huh. Interesting. Well, I don't believe it. they do take pictures during the day because I have some at my property. But I guess people like to steal. The cameras. Okay. We'll walk down here now. 
I don't know how people can live next to these high tension power lines here. I wouldn't want to do that. Like I said, this is the ugly part of this trail, but there's a lot of cool bird life in these reeds here if you come out here. It's only short distance and you get back in the trail again. Got bird houses here, see that? That's neat. Barty houses. And there's a trail in the left. It. Oh, an owl house there or something. And here's our trail we're gonna make a left into. Brook is really flowing here. I'm just looking at this uh, marker of some type. It says built by volunteers or something, then you read the whole thing. Probably nicer to go here during the yeah, when the trees are have leaves on because you don't see the houses that are nearby. Here, I'm glad I got my ice cleats on. Here, here, I'm gonna walk through here. Okay, I'll make a right over the bridge. Head back to the car. 
car. Look at this, you see all the paw prints and bird prints down there in the snow. All kinds of creatures. All through here. Walk through here. And you can see that kind of stuff in the snow right now. It really makes you see how much of the round that goes through here. I want to take a look at one last thing on here. There's an overlook. No dogs allowed. Even if you steal with our sign. <laughs> Isn't that something? No dogs allowed. Even if you steal our sign. Dogs in the parks. Dog waste. Pollutes water and transmits harmful parasites and diseases to wildlife and people. Dogs are not naturally found here and don't eat natural food, so their waste is not natural either. Dogs loose in wildlife habit. When dogs run loose through the waterways in other areas, they destroy habit and disturb native wildlife, sometimes permanently. This is especially a threat to our rare species. Dogs and wildlife, even the most decisive dog are predatory animals and are therefore a threat to protect our wildlife. Their presence alters wildlife behavior and increases stress. Enjoy our experience. No dogs allowed. So if you do come here and you think you're going to walk your dog, you, you're not allowed to, you can get in big trouble. Funny. No dogs allowed, even if you steal our sign. <laughs> so how would they enforce that? Who's going to do that? All right. Here we are. Let's take a look at the back of the pond here. We were out there today. Now we're over here. Nice. Okay. I just want to see this, everybody. See what's around. Looks like raccoons are out there. Okay. 
birding behind the bird blonde blind blonde did i say blonde blind okay all right head back to the car I'm done here for today it was a nice uh, place to visit and uh i oh, should be back if everything goes well when the season gets warmer check out the new construction so uh, that's it for now hope you like this tour today a great swamp educational center i know i did and it was a pretty neat place to see and uh stop by again here at my channel and uh Hit that subscribe button as I always say and as I sign off in every video I do because it helps me grow this channel. Without your help it will not go. And so subscribe, like and share, have the comments, let me know, I'd love to hear from you and uh, hit the notification button if you want so you can know what I'm doing for all new videos and uh, stop by again. Okay, everybody, please like, share, subscribe. Bye for now.